Can you imagine when you, when you call your friends, your friendly nation, and you ask, please close the sky, close the airspace, please stop the bombing. How many more cruise missiles have to fall on our cities until you make this happen? And they, in return, they express their deep concerns about the situation. When we talk to with our partners and they say, please hold on, hold on a little longer. Some, some people are talking about es trying to avoid the escalation. And at the same time, in response to our aspiration to become members of NATO, we also do not hear a clear answer. Sometimes we don't see obvious things. It's a, it's a dire straits, but it also allowed us to see who our real friends are over the last 20 days, and as well eight previous years. I am sure that you've been able to see clearly what's going on, and I'm addressing all of you. Canada has always been steadfast in their support. It's, you've been a reliable partner to Ukraine and Ukrainians, and I'm sure this will continue.